Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about the difference between nutritional yeast and brewer's yeast. I had a couple questions. Um, typically they're both very similar. They both are loaded with the B vitamins, natural, amino acids. I mean, they have a, it's a great source of protein. Uh, trace minerals, selenium, chromium, great for the pancreas, good for blood sugars. Uh, both come from the same family of yeast but different strains. And by the way, the yeast is inactive. It's not active. They can't reproduce. Um, now, the difference between taste would be nutrition would be more of a nutty or a cheesy flavor, and brewer's yeast is very bitter unless you get it debitterized. I think that's a word. Um, now, which one do I consume? Typically, I will do the nutritional yeast unless you want to make some cookies. Okay, there's a type of cookie called lactation cookie. Not that you would use it to increase lactation, but you might, but it's also just good generally for your overall health. So um, I'm going to be making a recipe very soon. You'll see that uh, on demonstrating those cookies. So you can make those out of brewer's yeast. And I um, heard they're quite good. Um, so the thing about brewer's yeast is usually a byproduct of making beer. But typically, if you buy it off Amazon or the health food store, uh, it's not a byproduct. It's a direct product that's more of a nutritional product. Um, some people have some digestive issues more with brewer's yeast. It's very few, but that can happen. So it's up to you. You can go either way. Uh, but make sure if you do either a form of yeast, you get non-GMO because nowadays they make this off of beet sugar, which is GMO. So we want it non-GMO. We also do not want it enriched with synthetic B vitamins. So get the one that's non-enriched. And if it says it has B12, we know it's synthetic because these yeasts do not make vitamin B12, unfortunately. So um, it's not going to be a good source of B12. But overall, it's a pretty good nutritional yeast. A one good indication that you need it uh, is that you're lacking B vitamins, that you're having these vivid dreams, or you're having a lot of nervous stress. But definitely the dreams are a uh, um, very um, good indicator that you need more B vitamins. So I would take like a teaspoon. Thanks for watching. You know, I just wanted to take a moment out to thank you for your amazing feedback that you guys are giving me. It's just mind blowing. The successes, the wins. I created a link down below so you can actually type out your full success story. And if you have a before and after with weight loss, that would be awesome. And if you don't have a success with weight but other things, just put an image of yourself and your personal success story. And I would love to read it and also share it with others. So I want to just thank you in advance for doing that, but there's a link down below, fill it out, and I can't wait to read it.